welcome back to my channel so today we're talking all about my favorite products so if you guys want to see what those are please keep watching okay so i was going around my room picking out everything that i remembered this month that i've been absolutely loving and i've put them all into this bag here something that i don't like is this new snapchat update bitch i think i'm like the 1000th person that complained about snapchat but that is something that i dislike this month because my snapchat updated randomly for some reason and also the new instagram algorithm that's fucking everyone up and i also tried the new vero app and that was so dry it kept crashing it was just bad okay so i'm gonna pick up some stuff randomly from this bag and i'll just start talking about them so first thing that i've been loving is from way hair care and these are actually supplements they're actually not a hair product but they're like tablets like this i'm on my third pack at the moment this is a 30 day supply of them so you basically take them for a month and this one is for oily hair but they do have one for thin hair dry hair they have one for like different types of hair i have really oily hair and i've been finding this has been working really really well it doesn't stop my oils completely but i find even in my skin as well i'm not that oily i know it's meant to be just targeting hair but i think it just works all around really obviously your hair will still get greasy if you just leave it for like a whole week you know it's just been stopping my hair getting oily so 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 fast and i've definitely been seeing a difference i've taken these for nearly a month now so yeah they're really really good if you guys have really oily hair you're looking for some hair supplements maybe look at whey so next up maybe let's talk about skincare so i've been loving my touch out water gel moisturizer anyone out there that has oily skin that wears a lot of foundation knows the struggle of finding a good moisturizer because i like moisturizer that's really really lightweight but i want it to give me a lot of hydration which is, this is like the answer to i love the packaging i love the gold with the teal i think it looks so nice and classy if you guys have a bit more dry skin then you can also try the one in the tub i think it's called the water cream this is the gel version of it so this is a, a bit more lightweight and better for people with more uh, like dehydrated oily skin so loving that it's also really nice and tacky as well so when i put on my primer foundation and stuff it kind of sticks on a bit better so i've been loving that i only use that during the daytime though because at night time i like a bit more of a thicker moisturizer next skincare item i've been absolutely loving is from sarah chapman and it's called the liquid facial resurfacer i've actually had this for a while but i didn't use it i don't know why i didn't use it i think it's because i got sent in i didn't really know what was in it and i actually went for a sarah chapman facial that was amazing i absolutely loved it and I told the facialist that I use the Pixi Glow Tonic like nearly every day and she was like looking at my skin it almost looks quite dry it looks quite parched and she said that maybe the Pixi Glow Tonic is kind of drying out my skin and she told me to use this instead because this will exfoliate also but it's not as harsh it's got lactic acid in here instead of glycolic acid so glycolic acid is stronger than lactic acid but she said for on a daily use you use this morning and night and it won't dry out your skin but it will still exfoliate all the dead patches and stuff like that so i thought okay like if it still does the same thing but it's a bit more gentle maybe that's why i'm getting so oily then because i keep stripping off all the oil so i've been trying this and i've been really, really loving it it's been doing exactly what she said it takes away all my dead skin it definitely doesn't dry up my skin as well and i've definitely noticed that sometimes when i use my pixie glow toilet afterwards my skin feels quite tight when i use it and i didn't really notice it before until i started to use that and maybe she said it to me so it's kind of like planting seeds in my brain i've been absolutely loving this sarah chapman liquid resurfacer okay next up, i'm going to talk about this little gem right here so this is from nurse jamie i got it from cult beauty it's a similar thing to like derma rolling it's a little stamp it has needles in it here it's called the beauty stamp it's got very very tiny needles but what you do with this is basically you just stamp it on your skin like this and then you rotate it as well what it basically does it kind of like pierces little tiny tiny micro holes in it so that your skin thinks that it's kind of like getting attacked or it has like a, like a wound or you know if you get like a cut or anything like that your skin will know where the cut is and it will start to bring new skin to the surface so that is what it kind of does to your system so it's really cool it doesn't hurt whatsoever it feels like a light tickle even and what i like about this is that you can really target certain areas like on this side of my face i have a lot of like scarring pigmentation because i'm a naughty girl and i pick my skin i just really want to target certain areas i find with derma rollers i do have a derma roller as well and that's good for like all over but in certain areas i just want to really target bits and i find i can't really do that with derma rollers whereas this i can really like get on it especially when i have like a spot coming or anything like that i kind of like just stamp it and then i find it stops the spot from coming out 
up and being really really abrupt also i find it helps my serums and stuff sink into my skin a lot better it works really really well with vitamin c serums as well i feel like it just penetrates deeper and it just works so much better so if anyone's suffering from like scars acne pigmentation anything like that definitely do your research on like micro needling micro pen derma stamps anything like that that kind of like thinks that your skin is getting attacked and then your skin will start to grow new skin so yeah it's very very clever if you do loads of research you'll find a lot of dermatologists recommend it like even when i went to my sarah chapman facial they offer derma rolling there that you can buy at home and they said it's so good to do on yourself at home and it's really good for like your blood circulation because it helps the blood rush to your face and it's good all around for collagen and stuff like that I thought maybe people were lying about it but it really really does work like my scarring on here has almost gone completely so yeah i do get facial treatments and stuff like that but i do find that the derma rolling and stuff at home helps a lot so next one i'm going to talk about is from Evine, and it's called calcifet restorative skin cream basically what this is good for is for anyone that has damaged skin so for me after i come out the shower i like to pick my skin unfortunately and i want to put a cream on that's going to restore my skin that's going to you know, just kind of heal the skin overnight and that is exactly what it does if you guys have been following me for a long time i used to use pseudo cream on my skin and that's really good for like spots and stuff like that but sometimes i feel like it really dries out my skin so i've been using this at night time and honestly the next day it's helped it heal so much better and within a couple of days the scab is like falling off and stuff like that so it's been really really good it's it's amazing for like when I go like ham on a derma rolling or sometimes I feel like my skin is just so parched. You just know sometimes when your skin is just so, feeling so shitty and like it just wants to be healed. This is what I use and it's really good. It's really affordable as well. I bought this online. I don't think you could buy it in shops. I think I bought it on Amazon. I'll see if I can leave the link down below for you guys. They do a couple different types. I much prefer this one, the one that's in like the this type of packaging. There's another one that's in a squeezy tube. But I feel like this formula is a bit thicker and I throw it a bit better okay next up we're going to talk all about makeup now so i've been absolutely loving this jouer essential high cream coverage foundation i don't know if i've mentioned it in my last favorites video i might have i think i talked about the nars one but i've been loving this foundation so this is the shade latte i had bronze before i think bronze is like my summer shade but i'm still in my winter shade at the moment and latte is similar to like an nc30 slightly 35 bronze is a bit more like an nc35 to nc 40 slash 42. This foundation is so good for if you want a lot of coverage but a thin layer of it. Just a foundation that I've been wearing so much. Every single time I wear it, my fucking skin just looks so flawless in it. I showed this to all my friends as well and they absolutely love it. I love mixing this with other foundations as well. What you do have to remember is you have to shake it because I've been using it a couple times and it's just been sitting on my vanity and I just pumped it out and it's been really, really thick. And then I was like, oh, it's not going on really nicely today and it's because I didn't shake it. So it should be a quite a runny texture. It shouldn't really be like a solid plonk because when I done it like that, where I didn't shake it, it it was like so thick and it didn't blend really well and it looked a bit cakey so just make sure you shake it i even love mixing this with my georgia armani luminous silk as well because that foundation i love the finish of it but there's not a lot of coverage in it so when i mix them two together it's like oh so so nice on the skin so i've been loving that foundation guys next up i have to give an honorable mention to this bad boy right here this is the anastasia beverly hills and am breezy highlighter bitch i have it on my skin right now right on top here this is another highlight down here but on top it's got a really nice glow it's just honestly like i feel like if anyone out there loves highlighters you need this highlighter in your life you guys see how much i've used it it has such a nice amount of gold to it but i find with this one you do have to layer it up when i first used it i was like oh it's not that bright like you know you see Anne she looks like she's dripping gold when I put it on, I was like, oh, I'm not putting it on properly. I was watching her Snapchat and she said that you have to put it on like wet kind of skin so if you powder your skin all the way you put this on top it won't shine that much so now i've been basically putting my highlight on first and then powdering around it i just powder around here but i don't really need to put like powder up here really so i've been using this the way she said and it's been so nice every single time i go out people always ask me what i'm wearing i use this all the time as a base underneath because i love the undertone of it it has the perfect amount of gold amount of light gold it has a little bit maybe of even silver in it so it just pops in certain areas is. the base of it it just looks so nice because it's so seamless like there's no edge to it sometimes i find when i get highlighted you can see like the rim around it whereas that it just blends so nicely into the skin so i feel like a lot of people have been asking me my opinion on that highlighter 
highlighter and if they should buy it and i definitely think it's worth it like even if you've got other highlighters that highlighter the formula is just really really soft and really blendable and really workable so yeah i really really recommend it guys it's so lovely okay so next i'm going to talk about this blusher it's called luminoso and it's from a brand called milani and it's really really affordable i think i've talked about this on my channel before and i have this but it's very different let me see if i can find it this and this is both luminoso this is my old one it's like a very very light pink and this is my new one bitch they are two completely different colors but i actually much prefer this one whenever i wear this this never shows up on me but i can imagine for all my pale sisters out there if you love this old formula you must have been like fuck because this probably is like bright pink on you now so i used to try to wear it before because nick and Torres all used to wear this and then also lusa lux used to love this every time i wore it it just never used to show up on me it just looked like sheen on my skin it never used to show up like peachy but this got on my cheeks right now and it just gives me a really nice peachy glow i think it's like my go-to blusher right now so next we're going to talk about a mascara and i've absolutely been loving this one from benefit it's called the bad girl bang mascara and i actually went to the launch of this in the uk but they took influence all around the world to amazing places like the Maldives and uh, to utah and stuff like that for this launch of this mascara at first i was like really a mascara all of that for just a mascara it is really good guys i can't even lie you know i was trying to hate it i was trying to be like really it's not that great but it is so good it clings onto my bottom lashes so well like when i don't have this mascara and i'm using other mascaras i'm like oh, i just want to just go into that bad girl bang mascara because it's so black it's so pigmented it pulls out a lot of product it coats my bottom lashes as if i've got like 10 bottom lashes even though i have like two lashes there i feel like a lot of people will like this if you love big lashes if you love like bold spidery lashes it doesn't it's not really spidery because it does separate but if you love like long lashes and thick mascara and stuff like that i think you would really like it it is a, one of those brushes that is a bit more plasticky like this which i thought i would not like but the formula of it it's just so buttery it's just so creamy like when you put it on it just like coats your lashes so nice and evenly but thickens every single follicle at the same time it's awesome guys so yeah i unfortunately i absolutely love it and i just can't do my makeup up without it nowadays and then i'm also going to talk about an eyeliner and it's from tarte it's called the man eater eyeliner and i know they have like the man eater mascara they have quite a few different man eater ranges but this is their liquid eyeliner it looks like this and it's literally so black when you put it on it's like, insane what i find with this when you put it on your eyes to get a really nice wing this is perfect for because it's more like a brush it's not like a felt tip or anything like that it has like individual hairs so so when I put on my bottom lashes, like sometimes I paint on individual bottom lashes and it's just perfect. It's just so, so dark. And even sometimes when I have like smoky liner, I just go on top of this, just on like right near my lashes to make it really really dark and this just makes everything so dark like can you guys see that it's just so dark but it's, it's matte at the same time a lot of these liners they're really shiny so yeah i've been really loving this i think if you like liquid liners you'll really like this at the same time it does bleed a little bit so if you've got really wrinkly eyelids maybe give it a miss next up i've been really loving this concealer and it's from urban decay and it's a brand new all nighter waterproof full coverage concealer i don't know if it's waterproof been using the shade light warm and it's a very thick concealer so if you want a lot of coverage that's why it would be good one thing i do have to say is that you should put on a little bit and then blend it out and add more because sometimes i find if i slather on loads a little bit goes such a long way and i end up like really bright under eyes and it looks crazy in photos so this is what it looks like it's very very thick really reminds me of the tart shape tape i just love the way when you blend it out it doesn't sheer down it keeps the coverage and it also blends up really nicely and looks nice in photos as well use a little bit because it does dry really quickly and you don't want to be left with like patches of like concealer that you haven't blended out especially when it's this light so the last product i'm going to talk about is from lipland and it's their collaboration with makeup by alina i think she is a blogger from canada but she collaborated with lipland to create four liquid lipstick shades and i love this one here it's called dull face and it's a really really light nude every time i wear it i always get so many compliments on it it's a perfect peachy pinky nude i'm so upset because you guys know how much i love the 88 liquid lipstick that they've done with Ambrizi, but now it's discontinued and mine's dried up so i'm so sad this one is a bit more peachier but it's the same formulation as why i like the 88 shade this just wears so nicely on the lips it doesn't dry out my lips at all it 
glides on so well, it stays on so well, and even when I eat, it fades off nicely. It doesn't fade off all crumbly and stuff like that. So this has been amazing. And then a random last favorite is this. You guys must think like, what the fuck is this? It looks so weird, but it's actually like a hair net or a head net. I've been campaigning on Snapchat. I've been putting on makeup on, and then I've been trying to squeeze my head into jumpers and stuff like that. And I keep getting makeup all along the collar and stuff like that. And then my followers was telling me about this. And I actually had it in my makeup collection already, but I just forgot to use it. And I bought this in America. I got it from Nigel's, but you can also buy it on Amazon or anything like that. It's just called like a, a face net, I think is what it's called. But I put this on my face like this. I don't even zip it up. I just pull like this. And then when I put on my t-shirt, I just literally just slot it over and it doesn't touch my foundation. And it's been a lifesaver. Like I had this white turtleneck and I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna fit this on? And then literally put my head in here and I had to try to go there because otherwise I get lips it all on here like what I just did a minute ago and then when you take it off it's just no freaking scuff marks that is a winner winner chicken dinner actually something that I just remembered that I do not like I'll just get it for you quickly so I can do a little rant about it so something that I was also talking about I said on snapchat that I didn't like is this product right here it's called bubble gum and it's from a brand called beauty bakery I love the shade of this every single time I wear it I'm like oh this shade is so nice so when I first initially put it on it's like the perfect pinky kind of mauvey shade and then when it dries down it looks okay but when I I eat I talk or if I like do anything in my mouth it starts to crumble and flake so horribly and it wears like blotches the color is so nice I just keep it around but the formula is just not that great because it doesn't wear off nicely it kind of like comes off in certain bits and stays on in certain bits and it just looks horrible when it wears off so that is a bit of a disappointing thing but we're finished now yay all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for listening to me blabber on about why i love this product why i didn't like this product if you guys have any products that you absolutely loved or hated put them down below guys because i want to know spill the tea let me know what products are shit i want to know too so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe before you leave also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x 2 Lee on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers Hi guys, welcome back to my... Oh, I'll just spat. <laughs> KFC crushing machine not working. No. I ordered Gran to go to KFC even though there's a KFC shortage at the moment. And there's no hot wings and there's no KFC crush em. Just had the crush em yesterday, bitch! There's no Pepsi as well, what the fuck? Hashtag KFC crisis. Get an itch, I'm going to tap that itch, tap that itch. I don't know why my dog is fucking barking. Tucker, shut the fuck up! I can't bear a gift. What have you got for me? There's no fucking cushions, so I don't even want to talk right now. That's the only thing I wanted. Oh my god, there's a dog in here now. This is my dog Coco. He hasn't been on my channel for a while. Well, this is Coco right here. He is a seven-year-old Pomeranian. He's so cute, but he's so old now. He's got white whiskers and everything, and he's got some spank ass breath. He's only in here because there's food. Coco, outside now. He knows there's food in here, he's not going. Coco, outside now. Come on. Good boy. Yeah. I don't think. Oh my god, there's no time. My food's getting cold.